Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. <laughs> why? Why y'all leaving? Y'all, who has been following this <laughs> this story with Diddy? I think Cassie like opened up the floodgates with this whole situation because has she not come out and say anything about anything? Like y'all. That too. None of this wouldn't have even ever came to a head. That too. But do you think like they went in there and like, <laughs> why did they take all like his, his uh, camera equipment and <laughs> computer equipment? But, like, cause what I read that they were looking for specific, something very specific in terms mm -hmm. of like, uh, I I think more than anything, you know, with with when with a lot of these like civil cases and things that's going on, mm -hmm. I think they're trying to find because now they have probable cause to like go and search things because of things that were said. But but in the civil cases that are criminal, mm -hmm. so they're trying to find evidence of that type of stuff. Yeah, if you, if you can find like a a, vi a phone that has a video of something that reflects something that happened in a civil case, mm -hmm. you know. But. I mean, but I feel like he wouldn't be walking around having that kind of stuff. People do. <laughs> Maybe you know, R. Kelly, <laughs> R. Kelly, like, 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 like they look at that stuff as like trophies. Like they try to go, you know, you know, they hold on to that kind of stuff. Come on now, but see, I was okay because they were saying that they didn't know, like the people didn't know, like I guess they didn't know that they were being recorded. But my my whole analogy behind that, I'm like, well. What makes you think you're going to walk into a house that looks like that and and there's no video recording of anything going on? Like, why would you think that you're not being recorded? But I, Unless it's secretly been done. Unless it's like something that he put in, like there was bathroom camera. Like, that's weird. Right, right, right. <laughs> like that kind because, of stuff. You know, because it, his you know, kids are there. Because you know in most rooms you'll see the cameras, but... It, it may be a situation where he's setting it up where you can't even see him. So you don't, you don't even know how, what the situation is, you know? Yeah. For... for what what they're doing, but my whole thing about it is that I I, I always knew Puff uh, P Diddy Puffy Brother Love. I always knew he was a little zesty. Uh uh, no, you didn't. I did. No, I I always knew he was a little zesty. That's all I'm saying. Because you're not going to be walking around telling your friends or telling like some of your constituents calling them daddy. <laughs> like I I just I just can't I can't even see it. Woo, well, I don't know, because I thought that was weird, too. But y'all, like, I don't know, babe. Yesterday, <laughs> I don't know what the truth is to, to all of this, though. I, I do think, like, for them to be talking about it the way that they are, there is some type of truth in, in something that is being said. Like, I just feel like people around the world are not going to give you the same story at different times and and have the same story and they, they don't even know each other mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. not a coincidence that's not that's that's you that you can't make it up you know some some people can i, I could be honest some people can but just just from my take no they can't some hey think <laughs> that was the same thing like like we said well, y'all we had this whole conversation cuz we talked to like bill cosby I won't say his name, but the but the little island man. <laughs> you see, they they got the little island out there, out there. But him, mm -hmm. like, I am very afraid that if they came and they took all the stuff that they have, and Diddy is who he is with the type of people that he knows. Mm hmm. Hmm. Like uh, again, you you never know because the thing about it is that you know this whole. Because let me just say, I I don't think that man did anything to himself. I'm that's just me. That's just mean? me. Oh, but like the it, island man, I don't think he did it. I think somebody did it. Okay, because because he knew too much. He had too much information on people. We know who we we're talking about. Epstein, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I said the island man. I, I didn't want to say his name, but yeah, we were talking about him too. Okay. <laughs> but but again, like even like with the whole P. Diddy thing, it's like it, it's just been I feel like it's just been getting swept under the rug, obviously, for like so long. It's it been getting swept under the rug for so long. And 
I feel like when you start crossing the wrong people in the music industry, I feel like they give you like they get just like Clive Davis. Clive Davis was one was one of the ones that helped him get you know get, get his record label. Yeah, and and to be able to like blow up to do the things that he's that he's done to sign artists to get even bigger. But this, I, I feel like the whole thing with the Ciroc and and whoever who, whoever that company is that owns the Ciroc, like some of those big wigs, like we're talking like billion dollar companies like billion dollar people yeah i feel like when you cross those kind of people or you get into it with those kind of people and rub them the wrong way they can do a smear campaign because he was suing the liquor company mm -hmm. the, the same one that he went in partnership with with the Ciroc. yeah and when you're in, and with him being in battle with this and one thing that people got to understand when you have like like legal battles with yeah. people like that and when it comes to like selling a company like they can do things to smear your name to make you sell your company because there's like some type of like stipulation in the contract that it like that something about your character or something about you if some something about your character you that you have to fit within the brand like you can't the brand, don't you, be out here you can't violate certain things and yeah. certain codes so if if you cross that line and violate it then they can pretty much make you sell like you're part of the company or but, but bow out. what does that have to do with like the whole smear thing though mm -hmm. like why why Ciroc don't they I, they they still selling they still making money like who cares like what you do after this we, if we drop you like that's it but that that but well, that too but they also but it was also something in that that made him settle though because i think like all of this stuff started coming like before Cassie said something, I think there was already something in the work. Like you had, to, like you probably saw this coming before it actually became public. Yeah, he got I plenty think. of lawyers. They probably already told yeah. him a long time ago. So my thing is like, I I don't know, cause going back, all the way back to like Danny D. Kane, if y'all ever watched like making a making the band, making the band, like whenever that came out, way back, way back when Danny D. Kane came out, mm -hmm. and the way he was talking to those girls. I just felt so, like, I was just so grossed out mm -hmm. <laughs> by it. Just because I was like, man, it's just something about, is like, something, I, is I something get about you trying yeah. to be hard and you're trying to be tough with them and this is a whole... Competition yeah, and everything. Yeah, and it's supposed to be, like, not easy per se, but I don't get, like, the whole tearing them down the way that he would, like, mm -hmm. calling them fat. And, like, these are girls. Like, these are young ladies. But that, But that's how he's <laughs> always been. And and like I said, and and like I said, I Who feel like does that I feel I, I feel like every dog has his day, hey. and at the end of the day, every chicken will come home to roost. Because you got to go back even further than that. When we talk about like P Diddy, we talking about like Tupac. Like the, he caught up in the whole Tupac thing, get with Tupac uh, being unalived. Like mm -hmm. he's caught up in that, and then he has no culp biggie. then he has culpability with Biggie Small. So it's like, and, and and you it's like you just see so many things around him. That that's never like come like that, that's never come back. You know, it's never come back on him. Yeah, for the most part. However, he was able to do it and be so successful, making like millions and millions of dollars, continuing to be successful, continuing to because it, it, it always just seemed like no matter what Diddy did, it's just, it's just like he always was was being more successful than the next person. I I felt like people would hate on him because he was getting more and more successful and and, and making more and more money. Yeah. But sometimes it, 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 it's just something about when people get so successful and get so much money, I feel like sometimes it's always something behind closed doors that's going on, you know? I, mm, Period. Mm, mm, because some of the stuff, like, y'all, Cat Williams, and Cat, y'all, Cat Williams is just, oh, he is, somebody put the leash on him. Because <laughs> he is out of control. He telling everything and everybody's business. Mm -hmm. But, like, my thing is, like, if you start coming out to say something, if you want to bring something to the forefront then that's when they start making you look crazy when you start talking about things cat williams yeah kanye I, west like think yeah. about some of the stuff that he said like where it's like man okay okay yeah you sound a little <laughs> but now it's like wait maybe what he was saying even even i was talking about yeah, some people I don't even want to bring up. <laughs> like, some people I don't even want to bring up. But, yeah, like. Yeah, that's, like, the biggest thing that's going on right now well, is this whole P. Diddy thing. Mm -mm. And, and and my take on it, again, is I feel like when you keep doing people so wrong, it's going to eventually come back on you. And we all know that. Even when you go back to, like, the whole J-Lo, the whole J-Lo when he was in the limousine and the whole shooting in the nightclub and them running through New York and then his artist Shine taking the brunt 
of the whole thing when yeah. and, and like leaving him out to dry and not even giving him any like legal counsel. I just feel like when you get when you continue to keep like skating by like by the skim of your teeth mm -hmm. and keep getting away with things mm -hmm. and, and keep getting away with it to a point where you're like, okay, I got away with it, but I'm gonna keep doing it until the wheels fall off. I'm not gonna change what I do. I'm not gonna change anything about me. I'm not gonna turn the cheek and, and start doing the right way, doing things the right way. When you continue to just keep on doing the same mess over and over again, I just feel like that shit is it's just gonna come back on you. But why? Okay. Period. So, if what they say is true with everything that's going on, like whatever he his preference of his. Sexual preference. Sexual preference. I'm just, I don't know. That I ain't guess, my business. No, it's not. But I'm just like, why? I mean, I guess because it's P. Diddy. Because I feel like Wendy Williams brought this out so long ago. Mm -hmm. She brought this out <clears throat> and literally got fired from her job for it. He like, got her fired. Yeah, he got her fired from her job for it. But I'm just. He called a radio station. Man. Money will make you do some crazy things because I feel like all this stuff is about to come out. If they if they find what they what what potentially will be on those tapes, or oh, yeah, like right, that's a, that's a smoking like gun. They about to open a whole can of problems at this point because now you see all these industry names, these big names are starting to hit the fan like mm -hmm. one after the next, and I'm just like, what is happening? What is happening? Shoot, the chickens are coming home to roost at the end of the day. But you, but another thing too was like this whole thing with it. You know how they talk about like the Hollywood, the access, the access Hollywood, all this Hollywood people. Hollywood is so evil. The evil that goes on in Hollywood. Mm. I'm just like, now, now after all these years, like I think I'm starting to really understand yeah. what that means. Like mm -hmm. I, I've always like wondered. How far that went. <laughs> like my imagination could only like think so far, but I don't think I went far enough. Honestly, some yeah. of the stuff that I've I've been looking at. Yeah, it, just just everything. I man, I would I I I after seeing like certain documentaries that we watch, because because we watched that nickel, you know, we watched part of that Nickelodeon documentary too. Mm -hmm. But Oh my gosh! Yeah, with the the Snyder guy. Oh, that just ruined my childhood. Right. That complete like right. everything that they taught. I was like, oh, I used to watch all that every day. And and and, <laughs> and and I feel like it's more and more true. The more you see things coming out that the music business uh, associated with Hollywood, it, it, it's just like that's where the devils and the demons come out at night. You know, that that's where all the undercover freaks like all like Sodom and Gomorrah. That's that's the, that's like the best way I could put it mm. when I speak about like Hollywood and the music business. It's, yeah. it's Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. If you if anybody like read the Bible and know what Sodom and Gomorrah is, yeah, that's like the best way I could put it. So so you think this is about to change the industry then? Like everything that's coming out because I feel like R. Kelly it ain't gonna change nothing. R. Kelly was the first one. Yeah, <laughs> he was he was the example, and, and I feel like everybody should have learned from him. But the thing is, social media. Back then, when they could get away with this stuff, and everybody was like overlooking that kind of stuff when it was being said, and it was like, "Yeah, that's Diddy. He got all the money in the world. What you mean? Like he don't, girl? He ain't, he ain't, he ain't looking for you like that. Like that's Diddy, you know? Like mm -hmm. exactly wrong. <laughs> but and, and I'll be honest, like like I said, I don't know any of these people from a can of paint, but right. but but from what I've always seen from yeah. Puffy, from Diddy, Puff Daddy. Brother Love, all, all those names. For it, like I said, I, I don't know him from anybody. I never met him, but it was just it, it was just something about him that I just didn't like. Just period. Yeah. You know. And, I, I like 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 he's a like he a brother. Like shout out to him for for being successful, making money. You know, taking care of your kids, your family. But it was always something about him when when I saw him, I was just like, yeah, okay. no, nah, I don't know. I I watched I watched uh. <clears throat> Jack Wire Wright. Y'all ever heard of her? <laughs> I remember watching her like a long, 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 like some kind of way just coming across her channel. And I remember listening to her speak and I'm like, this lady, she mad at the world. Okay. She want to tell everything and, and it sounds crazy as I don't know what. I don't know. What is she talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even, I just, 
remember thinking like how far fetched some of the stuff that she was saying is like, and people are all in the comments, like <laughs> you are just bitter. You're just, you're just mad that you didn't make it through the, like, like they going in. Right. Mm -hmm. But some of the stuff you go back and I'm looking and watching, like she brought up a really good point. This is, I'm going to just say this not, and I'm going to, I'm going to just leave it there. I'm not putting it out for assumptions of anything, but Andre Harrell, Andre Harrell was who discovered Diddy and introduced him to Clive Davis. I'll be sure almost died. <laughs> Literally like huge, almost died. Pac Biggie mm -hmm. and Kim, Kim Porter. Kim, yep. That's it. And, and, oh, and the in the um the guy, the the autopsy guy. Yeah. <laughs> Question. I, I don't know his name, but there's an autopsy guy, the guy that did Kim Porter's autopsy that Yeah. <laughs> that part. Yeah. So so I don't know. And then and then I even saw something about somebody being <clears throat> allegedly Shot in the bathroom or something. Like, this guy didn't even come out and say nothing. Like, they agreed to just pay some money and, and keep it silent and not say nothing. Like, yeah. But the whole, the footage, like, Gene Deal. This Body guy. Back. Oh my gosh, this guy. Gene Deal. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Gene Deal. <laughs> he out there telling everything, okay? Yeah, he's been doing it for years, though. What is his, his problem with Diddy, though? Probably just fell out with him. I mean, it's a lot of people that have fell out with Diddy. That, that, that probably would never even said that they fell out with Diddy. You know, like Mace, like how he did Mace. It's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of people. Probably every, probably every artist that's probably been on Bad Boy label, yeah. probably has a problem with him. Mm. Probably, I'm just saying probably. Yeah. Because I, I, I can't, I, I can't even think of one artist that's been that was successful for a period of like ten years. Because there's nobody that's ever been on his label that they always just been artists. Like they never like took a step up and were like. You know, where he where he turned them and turned them into bosses or helped them like progress in their career. It seemed like they always were just the artists, and then you hear about them for a little while. And they make they, a few songs, an album, they and then eventually they fall off. Yeah, you remember Young Jock was signed to yeah, Bad Boy. Yeah, well, that was the same thing with Cassie because Cassie came out like with that me mm -mm, something. Cassie been Cassie probably you been know, signed to true. Bad Boy for like two decades yeah, and, and but probably like, only had two her, songs like, that big came song? out. Like you know, you live with the with the mogul. Like you know, mm -hmm. y'all should be in here banging out hits, okay? Be they, Beyonce and Jay Z. Like y'all got this. They were banging out hits, <laughs> just the wrong ones. <laughs> just like so, I don't know. I, I just think I think that that's weird in itself. How how do you live with a person that could probably potentially make you as big as they and is it because like the lack? I don't but know. But see, but see that, but see that's something that always gave me red flags though. That's something that always gave me red flags about mm -hmm. Cassie because I was always like, how is she his boyfriend? How is she on the label? But you never hear a song from her. You never hear an album from her. You may hear her that she's working on music, but you never hear the album. Yeah, yeah. Or it take three, four years, but other, but but he's still signing artists and they putting songs out, or they're doing collaborations and features with other songs, but you don't really hear Cassie featured on a song with anybody. But she's on the label, you know? Yeah. So I, I I always saw confusion in that. Maybe she like you know? wrote music or something. Did she did she produce or something? Like maybe she did something that don't nobody know about. <laughs> somebody said somebody said, did Bieber get P. Diddy? If he didn't get P. Diddy, he he got that smoosh mosh moosh mosh moosh gosh moosh mosh. Moosh mosh moosh gosh moosh gosh. I really can't with that. I really cannot. <laughs> he got that moosh mosh, moosh mosh. Whatever that's smoosh mosh. supposed to mean, okay? <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean, okay? But For real, man. Whoa. And then they talk about, and then they talk about in the lawsuit about Usher. They're bringing up Usher name, Meek Mill name. Yeah, but think about like two Usher and did. Who else? You see that video with Justin Bieber in the video though? Like the way he's talking to him like, I ain't... Ever since you left, I hadn't heard from you, and, and you've been acting I, 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 funny. I, 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 and you've been, yeah, and Justin standing there like, um, I, 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 uh, well, I, I mean, I ain't got your number. You never, you never got my number, so <laughs> he probably didn't want your ass to have it. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Scoot, Scooter Braun probably in the back, like, right. please, please hurry up. He left, and he was like, please, like, never ever, I never ever want to come back here. Okay, <laughs> ever 
again, okay? I'm not giving you my number. Steve, who are the two above Diddy? He said there are two above Diddy. Who is that? Clive Davis. <clears throat> uh, right now, you mean? Or like to start? Yeah, he just, he just re he's just referring to there's two people above him. I just wanted him to speak on it. Well, that only, the only okay, well, the only two people I know, I guess, in terms of like how this went was Clive Davis and Andre Harrell. Because mm -hmm. both of them were, obviously, that, Clive Davis is who he <clears throat> is and everybody knows who he yeah, is. Yeah, more, 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 I, I would say it's more of Clive Davis because Andre Harrell was instrumental in helping him, but... He had his own label under right. Clive Davis. I, I yeah. think I think with Andre Harrell, he just learned the business more than anything. No, but he was still an executive though. He he no he he was running a record label. He was running a, a department. He was like he was like artist development. He was like in, in some department with Andre Harrell. He was helping find talent. Right, that's right. He was right. helping to find the talent. And then Clive Davis gave Diddy. A whole label of his own, mm -hmm. but I thought that he gave Andre Harrell his own label too. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. Ain't no telling. I'm hundred percent sure about that. But I thought that's what happened. But anyway, like Diddy ended up like passing Andre Harrell. Like, oh, move. okay, you've been doing this. And the other part of that is like Diddy came right out of school doing this. Yeah, he was like, right. He was right. He was fresh out of college. He was um, twenty years old. Where, where did he go? Morehouse. It was. It was I forgot the college, yeah. but yeah, it was one of those colleges yeah. up there. He was up there. But yeah, he was doing about. He was in college or right, like fresh out. You know. No? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diddy's a bad guy. No excuse. Yeah, it's no excuses, y'all. Chick the chickens will come home to roost. Mm. Shoot. And, and and we all we all we every dog got his day. And and we all gotta make sure we living right. I'm just and, do, and doing the right thing and doing the right by people. How all of this is about to like play out in the in <clears throat> like twenty twenty four is gonna be like probably like, probably one of his worst years in his life. Well, I feel like after this, there's no coming back from this. Like, yes, I, I think it's not. I, I think it's a wrap. <laughs> I'm about to drive this man crazy. Like <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now, it's a wrap. Yeah. Because the, the whole Revolt TV, he he had to sell all his shares of Revolt TV. Yeah. Which is something that he created. <laughs> yes. He um. Did. The only the only thing that's standing is Bad Boy. The whole thing with Ciroc is a wrap. Uh, he had he had to settle with them because you know he was suing them. Yeah. And so when this whole smear campaign started going on, that's what forced him to settle. So whatever he settled for wasn't what he probably wanted. No, you got to go back and watch what Candace Owens said about that whole situation, though. When she did like this, the last, excuse me, the last, I don't, I don't know how often she posts, but she did one where she tied, it's titled something like, this is the last time I'm going to talk about this or something because it's getting scary or something. And I'm just like, the whole time, I'm just like, whoop. Mm -hmm. Boy, you know, dang, like what now? Hold on, what happened? <laughs> I didn't know any of that. But if you go back and listen to that video and listen to how she ties Diddy to Michael Jackson, like that was another thing. <laughs> like Diddy to Michael Jackson, that blew me away. I still can't believe what yeah. what, what I heard with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and see and see, my thing is, it's trying to be. I I I try to I try my best to be reserved, and then. Not to like get too involved, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it seemed like when it, it just seemed like when somebody gets caught doing something like this, yeah, it just seemed like everybody come out the woodworks, everybody got a story. <laughs> and I'm not saying everybody that everybody that comes out that has a story is lying or they're telling the truth. I'm just saying you just got to throw caution in the wind because now it feels like it's a it's a witch hunt. Now everybody's coming out the woodworks, everybody got something to say, everybody got an opinion. Everybody got their experience. He did this. He, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So my thing is like just trying to trying to weed through all of that stuff because if y'all had these stories before, why y'all saying it now? Why they were why y'all waiting? You now? gotta think like from you know? a, a, I get okay. it. I get it. A narcissistic type of personality. Like people are intimidated by people Absolutely. like that. I get it. So like coming forward and saying anything like you are scared, like fearful. Everybody I just named. I'd be, I'd be scared too. Just saying. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying because now it's, it's like it, it just feels like it's a firestorm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, think about. Okay, so then how much of Cassie's report do you think was not true? Because Kid Cudi came out and said that she was, was telling the not. Truth. Um, I, like I said, I, I really leave it to them. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say what's going on, what's reported. I'm gonna say what's going on, but. For me, not to like, I don't know. I don't know what 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 happened, what's going on. I'm gonna leave it to them to, you know what I mean? It's not it's not for me to 
say it's true or this part is not right. She lied. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, I wasn't, like, you know what I mean? I can't. It, oh, no. It'll be I, irresponsible for me to say, say, to say was, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, everybody could say that. Yeah. I mean, none of us know if you want to put that out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, but. You know what I mean? She, th th I, I just. That's her. I feel like that's her account of, of what she's saying, her experience with Diddy. And I, I mean, I'm just going to leave it at that, you know? If it's true, if it's true, I mean, it's horrible. So it's what horrible about and deplorable. Like so, Kim, it's just let's just ignore that. Mm -mm, I'm, no, I'm not saying and that. Not believe anything Cassie says, or just believe half, or just think that what no, she says. No, no. What what I'm saying is when you talk about like what's in the actual case and mm -hmm. what what he has said. When you when you ask me like what's what do I believe? I can't sit and say what I believe. What I can sit and say for definitively. It's a lot of things that's been done wrong mm -hmm. to her. He did, he he's done he did her wrong. He did Kim wrong, but to say what 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 is what I can't say. But I know that he he's done them wrong because mm -hmm. people have come out even before this stuff has come out to say stuff about Kim with her nose and stuff getting broken mm -hmm. at one point in time. Yeah, and then the whole thing with like J Lo, even J Lo kind of has had a story too at one point in time. Yeah, about him so. You know, you know, I feel like that's their own account, and at the end of the day, that, that stuff got to play out in the court. Well, shoot, and Mace, Mace left to go go be a preacher at the church, okay? Because he came right up out there at rap industry. He left bad boy and was like, shoot, I'm finna but go did find you, God. Did, 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 did <laughs> you got to be something going on, Did okay? you hear a freestyle that he, that, he had, <laughs> that he had did, like, maybe like a year ago, and it was all aimed at Diddy? <laughs> no. Yeah. <sighs> He he got he got some real heat for Diddy. I know he did, I know he like strongly dislikes him. Yeah. He's put that out there multiple times. But I'm just like, man, this man, this whole story is just it's just it's just flooring me. Yeah. I every day I feel like I can't believe what I'm hearing. Yeah. At the end of the day, whatever is done in the dark, it just, it comes to light. Yeah. You know. But and... Aubrey O'Day, like from Danny D. Kane, she been saying this, but nobody was mm -hmm. believing her. She she been saying this. Yeah. And I and I feel like people probably wasn't believing her because she's Aubrey. They're like right. Well, she she don't even have any skin in the game. That's that's the whole you know? thing, and it's like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, the the control, yeah, 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 control factor. Okay, but anyway, uh, I can't believe the stories unless there's proof. Yeah, Drew, that's basically what BJ saying. He like, I'm just gonna wait for the stuff to come out. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel, <laughs> we I feel, gotta see what happens. Yeah, I feel like you just can't. I, I mean, because it's so it's so much. So it's like you just gotta weed through all of it and just and just take it as, as information, whether you believe it or not. Yeah. It, it it draws tons of red flags. Rebecca said, "What about Usher? We what we had." Little... Mace went to get cleansed. Oh yeah, I, yeah Usher too. Usher yeah Usher had to he attended the Flavor Camp too and and stuff he talked about because he was on Howard Stern. Come on now. Okay, and he was telling he was like, "Shoot, I've seen some things." Okay, like I was I was up all night. I saw some things. There was some stuff that, yeah, I saw a lot. Like, but he won't go into any details about anything. That's and I'm true. like, mm. it, it, it seems like he's very, very media trained. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he always know what to say or what not to Especially say. Especially when it comes to that. But I don't know, man. Especially when it comes to things that... People, people send their kids in, in crossfire all the time. Because you think, like, especially in this industry, this whole industry thing, like, Putting, Back, putting, putting they trust, in, putting they trust in other people. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way, there's no amount of money in the world that anybody could give me to send my kid off and just leave them around you <laughs> to go by themselves in the industry. Mm -hmm. Never, never, ever. Because at the end of the day, a stranger is a stranger. <laughs> They're right. No matter what they could offer you, or or the promises that they can make. Oh, I'm gonna turn him into a star. Yeah, that's you know, what, that's, that's what the whole they, thing with uh, what you were saying with Aaliyah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You know, like all the promises in yeah. the world, you're gonna be a superstar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win you a Grammy. <laughs> and and I just feel like you. I I feel just like you, and it's just like it's it's so, and it's just horrible. And and and, and I just hate to see it because it, the the people that it hurts the most are the kids that are involved mm -hmm. in it. I feel sorry for his children. You know, like. Them having to go through this more than anything, you know, like them having to see it. I don't, I just, it really sucks. They're not babies, but it does suck to be related 
in the media, in the public eye. Yeah. Like, it's not like you can hide them at this point. Right. Because everybody knows who they are. That's the sucky part. That's why. That's why. That too. That y'all, too. you keep your kids off of social media. There's see, a and, reason. And that's that. another big part that people are not even taking into account is how yeah. it's probably affecting his children right now. Because right now, to them, it, that's not even important right now. It's, it's what's going on right now. Yeah. You know? It is. It is. So... That's my little spill, y'all. I can keep on going about Diddy all night. Okay, we just, woo. All right, y'all. So to end this live stream, uh, <laughs> go ahead and give us y'all biggest Diddy song. We're gonna make a poll. Let's go. Let's play a Diddy song, y'all. No. Take that. Take uh, that. Uh. -uh. Take that. Take Definitely that. Definitely not doing that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I still can't believe you're gone. Every step <laughs> I take. Okay. No, but he said something in he said something in that song. He was like. We was like brothers or something like that. It was like some real funny lyrics that was in a song that was like kind of sus. In that song? In that song. We was like brothers. Us in the... Oh, we used to play fight. Da, 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 da. Well, he said that about Usher. They used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. <laughs> wrestle. Like really wrestle. Like. Did y'all wrestle in PJs? Uh, um, mm. They wrestle in PJs, y'all. I just feel like if my son told me like I was wrestling with a grown man, I'd be like, "What? <laughs> like, what? What are you talking about? You know, <laughs> like, what are we? What are we talking about now? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> Ignition. Anymore. I agree. I agree, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. I, I agree a hundred percent, Rebecca. What'd she say? Um, the music industry doesn't protect children. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, after watching Nickelodeon, they the whole Nickelodeon They exploit them more than anything. I cannot believe, like, I can't, I can't, I can't even, uh, Amanda Bynes, like, now I'm, I feel like now I can understand, like, what, probably what really happened with her. Like, there was some things going on. Yeah. Some things that you can't even repeat. Yeah. There was right? some things going on. <laughs> like. That's the, that's the part with me is like, man, it's just, I can't. It, 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 you can't even, but I can't even believe it, especially as much as we were like into like Nickelodeon, how much we like watch those shows. Like you were saying, the the one show you watched, what's the name mm -hmm. of it? What the oh, show? All that? Yeah, the all that show on Nickelodeon. Oh, I used to watch it. Oh, guts. What was it? Uh, yeah, the guts. The I used to watch everything. You used to watch the Kenan and Kale. Pretty much every. That's like the only channel I had in my room, so it was like that. <laughs> And so you just watch Nickelodeon. And then like MTV, <laughs> Channel 4, okay, Fox, <laughs> NBC News. <laughs> that, and that's it. That's how they used to See? go. <laughs> uh, to me, I'm thinking they been after Michael Jackson because he the king of pop and they just want his money because he came with musical family with his brothers and sisters, Michael Jackson, care fans. But, Core fans, But I guess. wasn't... What did she say after Michael Jackson? Because he, the king of pop. I think, I think <laughs> it has something to do with. Because <laughs> if y'all, okay, no, nah, I'm not getting into the conspiracies, but I don't think Michael just died either. I'm just saying, I just Yeah, don't. it's just so hard to just. <laughs> I, I don't think, like Whitney Houston, I don't think she drowned. I just don't, okay? Like. I just don't like. I don't. I just don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I. I just man. I, I. When we talk, especially like Whitney, like like that one. Even when you bring up Whitney, like I don't even like to talk about it because it. it I was just. I was talking about triggering a little while ago. Mm -hmm. That's that's one that just triggers me. Is Whitney point blank period? Yep. I'm gonna leave that where that's at. Whitney. Because it's 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 so many stories and then. <sighs> Bobby Christina. I just there's there's a lot that I'm just like mm, I don't know I just don't believe that they did, they just they just kicked over okay <laughs> I just don't <laughs> I just don't I don't know and that's that's probably a fine line of treading like the whole conspiracy thing but I'm just like it was just suspicious yeah even Prince too Prince oh yeah Prince for sure Prince Whitney yes <laughs> even even Gary saying Whitney was a mess she was she was. She was. I'm not taking that away. And I, I don't discount, like, maybe what problems she might have had that could have potentially made that situation happen. That's a very real possibility. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, mm -hmm. 
There's a whole party <laughs> taking place downstairs. Like this just didn't happen. They carrying her out the back door. I just think in the per like of all people, it was, it was, it was Clive. Like I just feel like I would be mm -hmm. like, mm -mm. <laughs> the party's off tonight. Okay, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because it was going on around the time that that actually happened. Yeah. It, it was already going, so you know what I mean? I just... Oh, Princess Diana. They said it was not pretty. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to believe. Like, with all this crazy stuff coming out, with stuff just popping up these days, it's like, man, like... I didn't believe it when I heard it the very first time, but like now like stuff is coming out and unfolding, like all these celebrities are yeah. starting to step up and speak about <laughs> stuff that they've seen, that they've experienced, that they've witnessed, that they didn't want to take part of, that like whatever the case might be. And I'm just like, I just think like they don't say anything about it, obviously, because they can't. Yes, it's, like, it's a whole secrecy thing. And it is it's probably a really big sometimes secret. Sometimes I feel like, yeah, it's like a hidden society to a degree. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 and yeah. there's something behind it that they and, just can't and, talk about. And, and if you're not on the inside, yeah. then it's like you if just you don't be go out. here, you can't sit with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. If you're not here, then yeah, you're not going to know. Yeah. R.I.P. Whitney Houston, Bobby Christina. Yeah, y'all. And even. Absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah, I keep going with names, but knowing, especially with y'all telling us how many people done passed away in the music industry, like all these people, and I'm like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> hey, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why. That's why I'm glad my profession has nothing to do with being in the music industry. I'm glad I don't have to be like in in Hollywood to try to be an actor to try to fight for a role, mm -hmm. and basically. Compromising my soul for money, like I, I just couldn't be in that. I, I couldn't even be one of the people that like sitting around seeing that type of stuff happen. But now you understand, you know? like now, and even that, like the whole meaning of like selling your soul means something completely different to me now. Like mm -hmm. I'm just like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, whoa, okay, I. <sighs> because, like I said, if if, if you're gonna if you're gonna compromise your morality, mm -hmm. if you're gonna compromise your morals and your principles, um. For paper, for money, but for some, for for, for money, like. But and, think about like being in that position. You don't think that you would be like intimidated to be like, okay, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do it. But can, are y'all gonna move from in front of the door so I can walk out so I can say no? Are y'all gonna chase me? What what? Why y'all? <laughs> what do I have to say yes? Like I feel like. <laughs> well, and, and and not even that, but it, but but it, but it shows you in in, in some degree how. How weak some people can be as far as like people's human nature, as far as not standing like your morality, not having morality. Yeah. And willing willing to do whatever for the career, for, for the money, for the fame, for yeah. the success. You know, just like you said, that that that's the definition of like, you know, selling your soul, you know, yep. per se. Yeah. You know. Casualty, that's exactly what I think. That's exactly what I think. <laughs> I, I just can't break it down to explain it to be factual in it, but that's exactly what I think. Because yeah, that's what Candace Owens was talking about in the in her in the podcast. Stuff, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, casualty. Even with like Michael Jackson and Sony, because because Michael Jackson was the one that owned uh, the Beatles catalog, mm -hmm. which is worth probably like a billion dollars. So that whole thing that people talk about, but but yeah, but, but there but was the, something else going on more than just possibly. that. It was something like Michael Jackson was actually pursuing like some type of legal action or something against the record label and there was a will that was signed and he wasn't present then and they had video that he was in New York and that thing was signed in LA mm -hmm. or something along those lines. And, and it's just, it's just funny. Like it's just weird. And it's stuff that I'm just like, I don't like, how do you not question stuff? Like, I just feel like there's a lot of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the public has so many questions, but then we never have the answers to like fill in the gaps. There's no bridge in the gap of anything. It's just kind of like figure it out. Hopefully you get it right. Like, you know, that you yeah. figure out what, what really happened, but you only going to get this little bitty piece of information that we going to give you. And that's it. Like they not, <laughs> we already know. We know how the media works. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
They don't always tell the truth, okay? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, Lisa, I'm telling you, like Michael Jackson, he looked perfectly fine around that time. Yeah, so did Kim Porter. Healthy and everything. <laughs> so did <clears throat> Kim Porter. And she was as healthy as, as can be, apparently. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know what to say, okay? I'm not finna play none of that, okay? <laughs> yeah, but... but I, I, for me, I can't I can't let go of like the whole thing with Michael Jackson, Prince, when they talk about like the masters about their masters and stuff. Because even with Prince, like where does his stuff go when he passes away? You know, like what, like is his will together and everything too? Somebody got his estate. Or, like there's yeah. somebody. Because and, and, Prince didn't have kids, did he? He uh, never had kids, huh? No, I okay. don't think he did. But the thing that pains me the most about Prince is that he fought so hard to get his masters to like own the rights to all of his stuff. Yep. And for him to go out the way that he did, that's the one. And and Michael Jackson. I mean, we just gonna leave it at that. We gonna we gonna pick up. We gonna pick up on this on at, at a later date because I could I could go I could go on and on and on like like Erica Badu say. That's on why, and on. That's why I don't believe it. That's why yeah. I'm like I don't think that man just no. No, and I think the doctor... Oh, they say his family. Okay. The doctor as as was the family. scapegoat, okay? The doctor was the one that just <clears throat> had to take the brunt of everything because that's they had to they had to pick somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so, somebody has to be responsible. And, and so, and, but we're and, not going to talk about nothing else. And sometimes, like, you know, how far, <laughs> how far it goes, it, 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 it can go so, so deep, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it can go so, so, so deep. And, yeah, I, I think uh, Prince, I think Prince, he tried to have a child at one point in time, but I think his... Uh, one of his ch one of his child his child was passed away at birth. What? Yeah. Due to like a heart defect. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I don't think he ever had any children. Tigger John. He said almost in a Beatles tribute band here in Dallas about fifteen years ago. Maybe I should be glad I didn't get into the industry. <laughs> Woo! You dodged the bullet. You should Tigger. be you should be happy, Tigger. <laughs> Thank God I dodged a bullet. Dodge that bad boy. <laughs> MJ spoke on it himself how they give us subliminal messages. Yeah. They speak in code. But, shout but out, to, shout listen, out to Greg and Stockton. I've I've heard a couple of times like his his mom and his sis like his sisters come out and they are on some type of TV show and they're talking about certain things. Like it's just stuff that people say that when well, you know somebody like really, really know them. You, you know what they're capable of. Like you probably, if if they're thinking about taking themselves out, they probably said that before. Hmm. <laughs> they probably made some type of reference to feeling like they don't like feel like they should be here. Like at some point, you know, yeah. like even if it was subtle and it trying to, it gives you like a feeling like, you know, <laughs> you you know this person because they probably are comfortable enough to say something like that around you. You know what I mean. So I just feel like when something happens like that, it's like, I just feel like it's, it takes a whole lot of convincing to tell somebody that tells you or that shows you that they're not that type of person or they're not, that's not what code they live by, morality, mm -hmm. like what they believe, whatever, right? <laughs> I just feel like you would know. Like you would know, like, 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 I, I don't know. I just feel like you would just have a feeling about something. You probably, like, you, and you probably could feel it yeah. more than anything. They, they can sit here and tell you everything all day, but, right. but your mind going to tell you one thing, your body going to tell you something else. Right. You're going to feel it. And I, especially if you like are in their presence on a regular basis, like consistently, <laughs> like you talk to them or you're there or you see them or you sometimes i don't think that that's every case because sometimes i it, obviously it just comes out of nowhere for some people but for other people i'm just like no just some stuff <laughs> i just can't something you're right <laughs> you know i just can't 